Hello. This is Saturn's Energy Auditor Field Guide. And the audience for the Energy Auditor Field Guide is uh, energy auditors and inspectors uh, who do quality control work and quality assurance work. So this is a pretty specific guide and it really focuses in on the viewpoint of the energy auditor, how to specify different health and safety measures, how to specify insulation, air leakage control, uh, testing of heating systems and cooling systems. It's all about working with the customer and working with the technicians that will actually be doing the energy improvements. Let's take a look at the guide. Okay, as usual, we've got our uh, table of contents up front, and we've got our index in the back and cross-references throughout the book to help you navigate through the book. And we start off with Chapter 1, Energy Audits and Customer Relations. So we talk about the type of energy audit uh, that you're going to do, um, various types of checklists for visual inspections, uh, showing you what kind of drawings uh, that are helpful to make, um, numerical analysis, uh, fuel bill, breaking down fuel bills into gas and electricity, uh, energy indexes, um, explains peak load, carbon footprint, you know, work scope and contracts, um, inspections, you know, in progress inspections, versus uh, final inspections, quality control versus quality assurance, um, and then interviewing the customer and educating the customer on how they can conserve energy. Then we have evaluating insulation, how to evaluate existing insulation, uh, how to plan for insulation improvements, how to work with insulators. <clears throat> then uh, we have air sealing, a chapter on diagnosing building air leakage and um, in general what are the problems and solutions, uh, a little bit of a, a review of building science, uh, blower door testing in detail, um, where to find the leaks, uh, how to specify how, how they should be sealed, and uh, how to do more advanced pressure diagnostics. Then we've got the long chapter on evaluating heating and cooling systems. And this is mainly about just working with the professionals, you know, understanding what they do, you know, demanding uh, that they do the proper testing, both for safety and efficiency, and that we really do, uh, you know, make the energy savings that we're looking for in these uh, heating and cooling systems because there's a whole lot of opportunity to uh, both save energy and to you know, improve comfort and also to take care of the client's health and safety and to remove uh, fire hazards, <clears throat> all those things are covered in the heating chapter. Okay, so uh, then we get uh, we get into duct leakage and uh, measuring duct leakage. We go on into a chapter on, um, or a, on, in, into a section on electric heat, including heat pumps and uh, space heaters. And uh, then we move on into a chapter on base load, uh, where, which is water heating, uh, refrigeration, and um, refrigerator metering, lighting, and so on. Uh, chapter six is windows and doors. And so we have, uh, you know, everything from repair, replacement, um, improvement of windows and doors, um, how to install new windows properly. Then we go into a, a fairly sizable chapter on health and safety where uh, we talk about, uh, you know, all the different hazards, uh, indoor air quality, um, uh, smoke detectors, CO detectors, uh, moisture problems, moisture solutions, ventilation, ASHRAE ventilation standards, choosing fans and, 
heat recovery ventilators and energy recovery ventilators. Then we have a chapter on mobile homes and how to audit mobile homes, what to look for, what uh, is possible in terms of insulation, air sealing, and heating and cooling systems. And that is our energy auditor field guide. Really appreciate your interest in this book. I think it will serve you well if you're an energy auditor or an inspector or if you do quality control or quality assurance work for utility companies, for weatherization, or for any type of residential energy conservation program.